Peace, love, and light, y'all. How y'all doing? I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. I took a little break and everything. You know, I had to... I was going through a lot, and I had to heal. I really had to heal. And, you know, I had to, you know, learn some tough lessons and, you know, move on. Learn some lessons and move on. You know, I wasn't really feeling like myself past couple of days and um you know I really uh you know when you know the most high tells you something or you just get that feeling in your intuition and you know it's always good to follow your gut feeling it's always good you know trust it follow it and don't ignore it you know or else you know you could pay for it you know so like when the most high tells us to you know do certain things or don't do certain things you know it's very important that we listen and you know we follow the instructions and be obedient you know really be obedient you know because it could end up in a painful situation and you know you don't want to go through that you know but sometimes it's necessary you know for us to you know learn some things the hard way sometimes we have to especially me you know i could be hard-headed you know and yeah you just gotta just, you know just gotta be obedient follow instructions and you know just listen pay attention um but yeah i had to uh yeah learn a learn a tough lesson so when the most high wants you to cut off certain people or, you know, just stay away from certain people. This way you could be balanced in your energy. And, you know, it's important, you know, you have to listen. You have to listen. No matter how much it hurts. No matter how much you, you know, love people. It's always important to listen. You know? You have to listen. Yeah, I feel, I'm feeling better now. I ain't gonna lie, I'm feeling better. I also wanted to say, right, that, um, you know, I noticed looking back now, can't even stop over there. <laughs> I noticed looking back, right, and I don't care. A lot of the traumas we had, you know, growing up, it wasn't really necessarily our traumas, you know? That's something I really realized, you know. I think I realized it before, but I just, like, now it's like I really feel it. Like, I, I, I really know now. A lot of the traumas we had growing up are not our traumas. It wasn't ours to begin with, you know. Some of them, you know, from past lives and everything. But, you know, a lot of them was coming from other people we was dealing with. You know, their traumas was, you know, we absorb other people's energy, you know, us empaths, you know, star seeds, chosen ones, whatever you want to call it, you know, angels. We absorb other people's energy, and sometimes we can absorb other people's traumas, you know, just by them touching us. That's why I said in my earlier videos, like, be careful who you let touch you, or, you know, be careful who you touch, or whatever. Because, yeah, we absorb people's energies really fast, and we feel it. We definitely feel it. We definitely feel it, you know? I was, look, you know, looking back, I was, like, wondering, like, damn, like, why am I feeling like this? Like, I never, why am I feeling like this, you know? Like, at least, I had no idea. I had no idea I was absorbing other people's energies and traumas. I had no idea. And a couple of days ago, I wanted to kill myself. I haven't felt like that in so long. I haven't felt like that in so long. I really wanted to kill myself. I was gonna quit YouTube. That's how I was feeling. I was gonna quit YouTube, quit my purpose, my mission, everything. I was getting ready to 
I was ready to end it. You know? I haven't felt like that in so long. And then when I didn't, like, when I overcame that feeling, you know, I was strong enough. I noticed this wasn't my feeling. This, this is not my trauma. This is not my trauma. A lot of the traumas you had wasn't yours. So, realize that, you know? The negative feelings that you have is not, you know, it's not yours. Those are not your feelings. That's, that's not your energy, you know? Especially if you're a chosen one, it's, you know, because you have God's love inside you, you know, God is inside you, so that's not our energy, you know, and once you clear out all those demons, negative energy, and entities from inside you, you feel that true love and happiness, that peace from within, that true joy, you know. And it's crazy, um, you know, a lot of these people, they can do the same thing, you know? They just have to heal. That's all, just have to heal. You really have to heal from your traumas. And how you do that, I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna show y'all how I did it. Or at least tell y'all, you know? I don't even know where to start. I guess first, really, accepting it, being honest with yourself. Being honest with yourself, don't ignore the feelings, certain thoughts you have, you know, try to figure it out, you know, like, why am I having these thoughts? Why am I feeling this way? You know, like, what, what is this? Why? And I can tell you it's a negative spirit that's in you an evil entity, you know, that's inside you, that's causing you to have these thoughts and these feelings. And plus you got them around you, you know. There's always negative entities, demons around, looking, you know. They're always around, and what I know is they could throw thoughts, they could keep throwing thoughts at you, you know. They could just keep throwing them. And you wonder why you like why am I why do I keep thinking about this? You know, these negative thoughts, like why do they keep happening? You know? Nine times out of ten it's the negative entity that's in you. Or negative, you know, just demons around you just keep throwing negative thoughts at you. And you'll notice like if you can see in the spirit, you know, if you can see into the spiritual world, you know, they're always like on the side, you know, looking or checking. Notice the thoughts, you know, talk to yourself. Really talk to yourself, you know, and figure out what's what's causing this. Figure out what's causing it. I'll say, um, that's one way. Another way, I'll say is, um, you know, how to get these evil entities and these demons out of you. You know, I'll get black crystals, really. Crystals, I'm gonna tell you, is not, it's nothing new age about crystals. Crystals been here since the beginning. <laughs> They're natural, they come from the earth. There's nothing evil about it, or, you know, there's nothing evil about it, you know. It's not witchcraft or anything. They're used for healing. I mean, you probably use them for you know, witchcraft, which I don't really do, you know. I use it for healing. You, they, they are good for healing. You know, crystals are good for healing. And that's what I've been using them for. You know, there's nothing new age about it, you know. You can use them for healing. I'll get black crystals, really, for healing. They're good for, like, clearing out negative energy and uh, reversing it and, yeah, protecting you from negative energy and demons and everything. So what you can do, right? You can meditate. You could like place the crystals on your body or even on the top of your, on your head, you know, to clear out the negative thoughts. 
you can do that and listen to some positive you can listen to positive affirmations or just you know sounds and frequencies something that's that's healing you know as you're meditating and you breathe through your nose and you relax you calm your mind or you can repeat the positive affirmations you know inside your head or you know out loud whatever you want to do you know another way you want to do that and I also say sage too as well you can sage sage your body you know sage sage your body sage wherever you're at in your room clear that negative energy out that also helps get a negative energy out of you clearing out the demons and help getting that negative entity out of you you can do that that helps too that helped me a lot It's always good. You know, you want to do that. I always say exercise. Exercising is good. It helps get that energy out of you. So you can exercise. You know, helps you feel better. It definitely helps you feel better. So exercising. I always say exercising is short for exorcism. <laughs> Exercise, exorcism, exercise those demons out, you know. Exercise, it's good. Exercise. You can get in a cold shower too as well. I'll say you can do that after you exercise. After you exercise and do yoga, do some yoga stretches. Those will definitely help clear out the negative energy. Help get that negative energy out. It'll help get that negative energy out. Uh, the more you do yoga is like the more you know it helps your stress and everything so yeah do yoga stretches and you'll feel it you'll like you'll actually feel the spirits coming out of you you know you'll feel it at the bottom of your feet there'll be a tingle at the bottom of your feet so once you feel that you know it's working you'll definitely know it's working so yoga stretches, exercise, and after you do that, you want to get in a shower, and you want to turn it cold, you know. And that will shock your body and your system, and that will also help get the negative demons out, entities, spirits, all of that. And that will help, definitely help. Cold showers, and you don't have to turn it cold right away if you don't want to, you know. You could go in the shower, take a regular hot shower, and then but right before you get out, you can turn the water cold and shock your body. And it'll help get it out. And you'll notice, you'll feel a little different. You'll notice the difference. I used to do that for depression. Yeah. I used to do that for depression and anxiety. Because I used to go through a lot of anxiety. So... I used to be in the cold shower, and that used to help. I ain't, I'm not even gonna lie. Like I came out of the shower, like I was cold, you know. But after a while, I was just like, wow, I feel better. I feel better. And it took a while. I had to keep doing it, you know. So a lot of people have like they have multiple, multiple demons inside of them or attached to them. Multiple, multiple negative spirits, entities. Like this is a lot. So it might take some time to heal. I'm not even gonna lie, it's gonna take it's gonna take some time to heal, but as long as you keep doing it, you know, you're gonna get there. You're gonna feel better. You're gonna be alright. You know, I say yeah, positive affirmations, work on your mind, work on your thoughts. You know, keep doing them until they get linked into your subconscious mind. You know, you're really re reprogramming your mind, really. You know, it has a lot to do with the mind. You know. I said negative, I said cold showers. Yeah. All of that. And then, you know, after that, you know, you could just chill in nature. Plant your bare feet in the grass. 
sit under a tree, that'll also help, you know? Clear that negative energy out of your body. That'll definitely help, you know? Nature is healing, you know? It's God's creation, so why wouldn't it heal you, you know? Relax in nature. Plant your bare feet on the grass, you know, on the ground. And you'll heal, trust me. Those negative demons and entities, they'll, they'll get out sooner or later. They'll, they'll come out. They have no choice but to. They have no choice but to. So, yeah. You know, the shift is happening, so it's... We getting there, it's probably not too late, but, you know, it's never too late to start now. Just really focus on healing yourself. And this is not just for the chosen ones. This is for whoever needs healing. Whoever needs healing. You know? Whoever needs it. Start now. You know? <laughs> start now. You know? And, um, yeah. I always feel like I be forgetting something. <laughs> I always, you know? I be forgetting like I'm forgetting like I think I covered Hopefully I covered everything If not I'll make another video Yeah Man, Focus on healing Cause I just had to heal again and It was really it was, I felt that trauma it was, I feel bad you know I really feel bad I felt that trauma I don't want anyone to feel like that. You know, that sucks, but you know, it's, you know, you can't force people to, you know, people have really got to actually want to do the work and feel better and be happy. I really want everyone to be happy, you know. I really do. You got to do the work, though. It takes work. It takes time. It takes work. But in time, you will heal. In time. You know, we just have to really let go of our egos, you know. Even I'm still working on detaching from my ego. And, and I try my best to be humble, you know, because I get attacked. You know, I have people coming at me every day. I get harassed every day. And just people just throwing negative energy at me. So it's like, I really try my best to be humble, you know, and not really, not clap back all the time, you know, because I've been noticing. I've been noticing, I've been noticing that about myself lately. <laughs> Can you talk? Yeah, I've been noticing that about myself lately, and I've been like, I've been really defensive lately. I just, you know, I've been talking back and just letting people know, like, you know, don't bother me right now. <laughs> but at the same time, I want to be humble because you know, like, I know that you can learn from anyone, you know, and I'm not. You know, I don't think I know everything. I know, like, there's been rumors. I know people have been thinking that about me. Like, I, I know everything, or I think I'm better than everyone. I really don't. To this day, I still don't think I'm better than anyone. And I don't think I know it all. I'm still learning. I'm still learning. This path is not easy, you know. But I got the most high mother and father, angels and ancestors guiding me through all of this. I'm staying connected to the universe and I'm still learning. Knowledge is infinite, you know. So I don't think I know everything. So, and I really don't think I'm better than anyone. I never did. I just try to be happy and have fun with people and just vibe, man. That's all I want. It's good vibes. So yeah, it's like Yeah. Heal. Just heal. It's life, man. It's all about evolving and learning from each other. Just, you know, just making the best out of this life. Finding out who you truly are. Really. That's the purpose. Really evolving, finding out who you truly are. And getting to know God. You know? It's amazing. It's magical. It's magical. You, like, you wouldn't believe the things I've seen. Get to know him, talk to him, build that connection. And, you know, 
everything turned everything is magical after that everything you will be amazed and you'll feel nothing but love happiness and true peace so until then there's been another one I definitely have more videos coming I'm back I'm back you know I'm not quitting so <laughs> I love y'all and I'll get with y'all on the next peace love and light